And then the dentist's office had to like send a fax, a fax in 2021. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Scam Swindles and Schemes. An internet friendship web show thingy where we look at internet culture stuff, everyday problems, and ideas that may be more pervasive than you thought. And then we determine if something is a scam, a swindle, or a scheme. Yeah. I'm Devin Whitlock, filling in for Adam Smith. And I'm Anissa Miller, filling in for Forever 21. If you know, you know. Okay, so here's a quick legal rundown. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Everything we say is legit and only our highly misinformed opinion. And it's not even our opinion. It's just misinformed hearsay. <laughs> Whatever we feel like saying at the time, really. There's, you know, no continuity. Today is a special work episode. Your benefits are a scam and your boss is not your friend. Remember to like and subscribe so that we can afford to go to the doctor. <laughs> so all three of our stories today, my day job, my, the company you mean I mean you're not for, raking in millions from this six figure podcast? <laughs> that's only in its first season? <laughs> Before it even started, we got we got seed uh, we got seed money. That's how we that's how we're doing this. <laughs> the company I work for got bought by a bigger company, so now my insurance, my health insurance, switched from one provider to another provider. So I had to change over all the paperwork. I had to cancel all my doctor's appointments and then reapply go to the same doctor. I was on the phone for like 40 minutes. <laughs> you had to reapply to go to the same doctor? Spoiler alert, yes. <laughs> Every, the, <laughs> turns out that there, he's on the same, the same insurance provider covers the same, like both insurance providers cover the same doctor. So I got to do all this runaround to stay in the same place. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, yeah, you know. <laughs> it, was, it was weirdly a relief and yet still a hassle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Same thing with my uh, you know, eye doctor. Had to like cancel appointments, you know, throw out my old insurance card, throw out all my information, then fill out the, uh, you know, paperwork, do all the electronic signature, be on the phone. Hey, you know, do you accept this insurance? You know, am I able to use you know, this uh, care provider? And then all to end up in the same place. And there was a hiccup because the eye doctor was like, they like changed names or something. So like they went from being, you know, eyeglasses are us to being, you know, contact lenses are we or something. And so I had to <laughs> <laughs> so the insurance provider was like, oh, I'm not seeing that uh, eye doctor in our network. And then I had to like, look at the address and then find out that it was still an eye doctor. And it was, in fact, the same eye doctor. And I got to, yeah. <laughs> network in network, network and out of network is a scam. It's a scam. Yeah. OK, anyways, but what's your question? that I'm making a vertical on the day. No, that's, you know, yeah, yeah. There's no question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, I agree. I'm going to go broad on this and say health insurance scam. Major. Ah, 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 ah. Non-universal health insurance. Scam, scam. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree, I agree, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing else to add to that. Yeah. Well, except for our second story, which is about dental insurance. Because 
So just the whole concept of dental being different from health insurance, scam. Yes, it, it's. I, Seinfeld did an episode about how dentists are doctors. Like it's the the whole like you know, just the whole like so like in I don't want to override your episode, but insurance will be like, oh, this is a pre existing condition. Well, listen up, a hole. If I had preventative care, things wouldn't be pre existing. <laughs> Yeah, if I could afford a personal trainer and a you know, nutritionist like the upstairs yeah. people, never mind. No. <laughs> you sound salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get me stuck. So my office is in Chicago, but the head office of this bigger company is in North Carolina. My dental insurance provider has 39 different customer service numbers. And I need, tried to call. <laughs> In 2021, not like press nine if you live in Chicago. Uh, yeah, a, a different phone number for each like area, like it's like split up or something. So, okay. so I tried co to call the the Chicago number, you know, not in the system. I tried calling the North Carolina number, not in the system. Turns out the bigger companies. My corporate office is technically in California, I'm guessing for tax purposes. So I had to call the California customer service number for my dental insurance to get my dentist. <laughs> and then and then the dentist office had to like send a fax. A fax in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> 